What's going on family? Robert here. So at my job, we plan for a three month window of work. We, every three months we have a one week window where we plan what we're going to work on and we, we attempt to work on those things. But you know, within three months, priorities, uh, objectives and things could change. And so sometimes our priorities have to shift. Jesus here in the text of Luke chapter 11, talking to the Pharisees, is telling them that their priorities have to shift. But unfortunately, they are lock solid into their plan and they are unwilling to change their priorities. It says in Luke chapter 11, verse 43, Woe to you, Pharisees, because you love the most important seats in the synagogues and respectful greetings in the marketplaces. Jesus pronounces now his second woe upon the Pharisees. And if you remember, uh, woe is an explanation of grief, a um, uh, 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 frustration with the way things may be going. And Jesus is now frustrated about what the Pharisees consider to be a priority. What they considered to be a priority for them was the greetings in the marketplaces, the seats of honor, they to be the respectful greetings that they would receive by saying, hello, Pharisee this, or hello, Pharisee that. They would love those things more than they would love people. They would love to be elevated, yet and still they would not spend any time elevating the Lord. They were looking for their own self-exaltation while not bringing God along or propping him up from their own exaltation. Jesus says specifically that those who exalt themselves will be humbled and those who humble themselves will be exalted. The Pharisees were ones who exalted themselves and Jesus is trying to humble them here in the text. So the question is, do we have some of these pharisaical priorities in our life where God has done some magnificent, wonderful, and awesome things in our lives and we take all the credit. We may, uh, be, we may get a promotion at work and we thank our boss for it and, and we may not be able to formulate how to say, God gave me these gifts, talents, and abilities. We just keep on and pat ourselves on the back. Maybe we have some athletic abilities or some athletic strengths that we have and, and maybe we get some awards or some, some accolades as a result of our physical abilities. But we neglect to thank God, the giver of those abilities. If we do either one of those things or, or a host of other things, we may be operating in that pharisaical practice or pharisaical priority motif. And Jesus is telling them, just as he is telling us, that our priority should not be to exalt ourselves, but it should be to exalt the God who gave us the abilities, who gave us the position, who gave us the intellect. So let me challenge you today to give God glory. That if somebody says, hey, you did, you did a good job on this. You can say thank you, but you can also say to God be the glory. Let's say somebody uh, recognizes you for your hard work. You can clearly just say thank you and to God be the glory. Let's remember to make our priorities not about our exaltation, but the exaltation of the Lord. So with that, let's pray. Heavenly Father, Thank you for the example of the Pharisees who show us how to make our heart posture right. We shouldn't be looking to exalt ourselves at the expense of you. We should recognize that you are the giver of every good and perfect gift and that we should thank you, Lord, for everything that you have given us. Help us to do that, but then to use those opportunities to point people back to you and your son, Jesus. It's in his name that we pray. Amen. So thank you for studying with me. Come back for the final devotional in this Pharisees Problems series. God bless.